Today is going to be a get ready with me day, and this is it. This little, this little train wreck of a, yeah, of some makeup. It's that's what's gonna be though. It's gonna be get ready with me. It is basically probably the same look I always wear. Um, but hey, I just felt like doing one. I haven't done one in a long time, and some of my faithful subscribers always want to see me do an outfit of the day, or not outfit of the day, not outfit of the day, not outfit of the day. Face. get ready with me so here it is I hope you guys enjoy it it is kind of lengthy and um, because I usually you know because I'm moving my mouth instead of my hand so but just bear with me I can't promise you it'll be worth your while because you know like I said I'm yeah I'm not very good at this but anyway let's just hang out and talk and y'all get a good laugh out of it that's for sure because my applying makeup is just hilarious, okay? That's just all there is to it. So anyway, thank you guys for watching, and let's get to it right now. Okay, guys, let's get started. I really have already started, because I don't want this video to be real long. Um, what I used was, uh, well, it's going to be long because I'm done. I used the BB Beauty Cream on my face, and a lot of times I use this, I know, I'm missing a nail. Look at that. Huh? A lot of times, I just use this uh, in the summertime and no foundation because I don't like, we've already discussed this. In the heat, I am a chunky chick, okay? I'm pleasantly plump, and I don't, I sweat a lot, and I don't like a lot of makeup on my face in the summertime because it's, it's, it's just miserable, okay? So, BB cream, and I get this at Brace Yourself, Effie, okay? Okay, because I'm fixing to tell you where I get this, how much pay for it. I get this at the Dollar Tree for $1, $1. And I even have backup. I have a backup drawer, and I did a video on what's in my backup drawer because I keep backups, like, for instance, the BB cream. I have a BB cream. I don't like running out not having it, so backup it is. Back up. So, anyway, that's what I've used, and then I am out of my under eye stuff so stuff <laughs> you like that amount of under eye stuff <laughs> so like i really know what i'm talking about which i really don't um so instead i use this this is a real light color for me it's um who is this by color mates compact makeup and it's a real light color so i put it down here and see those little lines I used to, you know what, let me just use it. Let me just use it. That means I'm going to have to use makeup. This is called Color Correct. And I used to use this all the time for under my eyes because of the big fat lines I have under there. I hate these lines with a passion. I'm trying to do this by my phone. I started doing this a while ago, video, and sorry, I'm doing it again. Um, and my camera just totally outright died. So... I don't know why I don't make sure my my batteries are charged before I ever start a movie, but, you know, that's just how I roll. So, we just have to live with it and move on and go on, right? It's, you know, it's just one of those things. So, anyway, and then usually I tap it like this. I started using a real light color, and I don't know why, because I think really, I don't know if either one of them really work. You know what I'm saying? I just really don't know what I'm talking about. People like get ready with me watching them. And I like watching them. But when people watch me, they probably think, this fool don't know nothing. And I don't. I don't, guys. I'm not good at makeup. I'm not good at applying it. I'm just, I just know what I need to put where I need to put it. Well, actually, sometimes I don't even know that. I just guess at it. It's just a guessing game with me. So don't let me make you think I, I really know what I'm doing. And, and I know I know how to play this game. <laughs> I don't. I'm just... Fake it till you make it, okay? That's just, that's my motto when I'm sticking to it. All right, next. Here's what we're going to use next. Okay, y'all you know, know I did the BB cream, and I will go over with some makeup now. I have to because I got, you know, because I look like an Indian. Okay, paint pot. This is Wet n' Wild paint pot. I love this stuff. Use this stuff, use this stuff almost every day. Why? Because it's just, it's my kind of makeup. And I'm using a Wet n' Wild, also a Wet n' Wild brush. I like the flat ones. And all I do is just dab it like this, and I just go, I start right underneath my eyebrow, and I go down. Same thing on the other side. 
and then I just go down with it all the way down I know what y'all thinking right now boy this woman really does it different but and I do but again it's me I don't apply it to anybody else everybody else ever asked me somebody did ask me one time I was doing I was doing the photography for a wedding okay I used to do photography I used to do weddings and uh well photography for anything but I don't anymore but anyway they had asked me, can you do my makeup too? And I was like, <laughs> no, that'd be a big fat no. And I was like, you're getting married. You're in a wedding. Now, if you was, if you were going to a circus, I could fix you right up. I could fix you right up. But anyway, I was like, no, no. And no, we can't, we, we, we can't be doing that. Okay. Now, you know, I have discussed before that I use highlighters and stuff for other stuff, <laughs> stuff and other stuff and stuff for other stuff. So, <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, guys. I I'm, I'm just, I'm a wreck today, okay? <laughs> I don't even know why. Okay, so what I'm gonna use, I seem to be sticking to the Wet n' Wild theme here, and I really don't know why, but hey, whatever works, right? This is the Wet n' Wild Illuminating Palette. Let's see, put it closer where y'all can see it. And I love these colors. And of course, I bought them because they're orange. Some of them's pink. There is a pink in there. And <laughs> Lord Jesus, help me to die. <laughs> oh, that's hot. Okay, I'm back. Guys, today I just cannot find myself. Okay. <laughs> it's just gonna be. I don't think today's a good day for a video because all I'm doing is is Breathe in, breathe out. All I'm doing is just making a comedy show. If you don't want to laugh, go right ahead. Anyway, you can see I'm hitting pan on this. I absolutely love, love, love these colors. Um, I used to use the Too Faced I Want Candy all the time because of the oranges. And the and I hit pan and I'm running way out. I mean, it's like... And I keep saying I'm going to get me another one and I haven't done it yet. And there you go. See? Yeah. But anyway... So we're going to go with this, and we're going to use this color right here, this highlight highlighter color. And I'm going to use another Wet n' Wild brush. I don't know, guys. I like these Wet n' Wild brushes. And you know for what you pay for them, if anything happens to them or the, br the bristles start falling out of them or whatever, you can throw them away and you really haven't lost that much money. You know what I'm saying? Are you with me on that, folk? Huh? Are you good folk with me on that? In case you guys are wondering, some of the newbies, I am from Arkansas, and I realize my my hick accent and my country folk talk. Um, in case you guys are wondering, it's it's just purity Arkansas, y'all. Purity Arkansas. That's all I can say. Okay, here we go. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I love these colors. These this orange is like. You know what? Just about. That's why I said I hate doing get ready with me's because I'm always using the same colors. I always use orange, I always, you know, all the time. So, I don't know. I just figured you guys are probably bored seeing me apply the orange, the white and the orange and the blah, 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 blah. And I really don't go for any other colors because they really just don't look good on me. Now, purple, yes. I've, I've been told purple is my color, but I haven't really found some purples that I really like. I have one, and I think I'm almost out of it. And I really need to buy some purple. That's what I really need to do. Okay. No, oh, I'm not through with that one. I'm putting a lid on it. Now then, I'm going to go in with, there's a darker color, as you can see right there. <laughs> there's not much left. I have to go get another one of these palettes. Orange. And that, my dear friends, is what I'm putting right here. Just right here. On each side, this is really how I wear my makeup every day. And like I said, orange matches everything. Orange to me, I know people think of orange as a fall color, but to me, orange is a summer and a fall color. Now, when winter gets here, Lord knows what I'm going to have to wear because I don't know that orange really is a, is a, you know, I don't know. I just don't know. I'm going through this phase of I want to change my wardrobe. And what I mean by that is I want to change 
colors. I'm tired of prints and all of that. I want I want to start wearing just plain colors, you know, just solid plain. Solid colors is what I want to do. But, you know, I don't know. At my age, and I don't mind telling you guys, I don't mind. I'm 57 years old. And at my age, I want something cute, classy, and the big, biggest C, comfy. Okay? Because my fat self cannot stand all this wrapped up stuff. You know? It's like, I can't stand it. I can't, I can't stand it. It just gets on my nervous. So... I'm trying to rewire, rewire, rewire my brain for sure. I'm trying to re, reinvent my closet for something totally different. I'll get there. One of these days, guys, I will get there. Okay, now I need to shut up and get on the road with this, okay? Because time is wasted. Now, I, in case y'all wondered, I do have some eyebrow stuff. I don't like it. I use this. It's almost out. And this is Revlon Super Light or Super Length uh, Mascara. And I don't use it for that. I use it for my eyebrows. Why? Just, I don't know. I like the brush on it. And it don't get it real dark. And the eyebrow pencil I have, I don't like it. Because it just really looks like your eyebrows are drawn on. And I don't like that on me. Not anybody else. It looks really good on you guys. But on me, I don't like it. I don't like it a bit. So... I told y'all I use my makeup for different stuff, not just for what it's originally intended for. And if y'all wonder what I'm doing, I am burning up. My air conditioner is set on 77. And it's really not hot, hot out there just yet. But I am i told y'all I'm a fat chick. Fat chick sweat. Okay? Or at least I do. Ah, anyway. All right. Onward March. I'm being sidetracked again. All right. What I am going to do, I'm going to use this... I don't use it a lot because, oh, well, let me show you when I, where I find it. This is, this is the, um, Nick, this is by NYX, and it's, um, that's the point, professional, it's an eyeliner, pencil, and I usually use, my favorite of all time is the Physician's Formula, because I love, I like the, see the tip on it? I'm out, and why this ain't in the trash, ain't, why this ain't in the trash, I don't know. And then when I run out of that, I normally use the e.l.f. The e.l.f. Uh, eyeliner. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Today is going to be a don't. Oh, I'm not even finished yet. What in the world? See, when I talk, I get all carried away like, like a dork. And I forget what in the crap I'm doing. All right, let me just uh, blend this all out because it's not looking too good at the moment. That's a little bit dark right there. Okay, now, let's get started. I hope y'all can see me, but I have to use the mirror with this. If not, I look like the Joker. I haven't been wearing wings in a while. Doing wing, wearing wings. I haven't been doing wings in a while. Reason being, it's hot. I sweat. And... Another thing, if I wear too much makeup in the summer, I also itch. For some reason, it just makes my face itch. So I've been, uh, I have been refraining from doing, from doing the wings. Now, when fall gets here in winter, I'm going to go back to my wings and all that fun stuff. I am still wearing my fake eyelashes, but only if I know I'm going to be in the air conditioning, like when I go to church, I will wear my fake eyelashes, but... As far as in town and stuff, no, I'm not going to do that either. Because, again, the glue just in the summertime because of sweat and I'm just, I'm just irritable. Um, I don't, I don't wear it because I don't like the itching and all that good stuff. So, I know, I'm weird. I'm made weird. Well, let me refrain that. I'm not made weird. Because I was beautifully and wonderfully made by Jesus. By God. So, I'm not that weird, okay? I just, I might have adapted a few weird old things, but, you know. Okay, now, for the bottom, most people don't like, I've noticed a lot of people don't do their bottom, uh, put eyeliner on their bottom one, but I do. 
why I don't know I just do because I just look too plain if I don't I, I just I don't like the look I don't like the look on me okay let me just stress that okay dear lord it's hot in here we have to crank that air conditioner up a little bit of course I'm sitting there's a window behind you there's a window behind you and I've got the thing up so I can hit the thing see I stuff and things I told y'all I'm a wreck today <laughs> I'm just I cannot find myself today for nothing but anyway it's it's just letting it you know you know when the 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 light will bring in more heat and it's just like <laughs> I'm smothering I'm smothering I'm what quit whining right quit whining now you know what I'm gonna do the Milani do y'all remember me showing this uh this to you that I got on the clearance rack I'm gonna with this I'm gonna go over it with just a little bit of it on here on the top right here and the reason I'm doing this is because I wanted to have a little bit of shine I know I know most people probably tell me at my age I don't need any glitter but you know what at my age or any glitter or shine but you know what at my age I need all the shine and glitter I can get okay not to the fact that I look you know like a clown but you know okay guys so far so good all right now then this is what we're going to talk about i wanted to talk about this with you good people out there um it's what i've been wearing other than my eyelashes okay and i'm really liking it there's actually two different ones that i'm wearing let me get these curled a little bit just a tad little bit my eyelashes seem i think this is working too my eyelashes do seem like they're getting longer and, you know, I told y'all, I don't have very long eyelashes at all. Okay, that's going to be enough for now. Um, remember me telling you guys that my eyelashes are, aren't very long, and that's probably why everybody else has long eyelashes when they put their mascara on, and mine still just look like little short nubs, and I look like, a, you know, look like Ned the First Reader. Okay, let's talk. i seen a YouTuber. I um, can't remember her name. She's younger, so, you know, whatever. Whatever. She's younger. <laughs> whatever. Anyway, she was talking. She always has the longest eyelashes. If I can remember, I'll put her I'll put her name, her YouTube channel right here. You guys can go watch her. I mean, I love watching her. She is a flight attendant. And her lashes always look like the bomb. I mean, they look so good. Okay, as I was saying. The YouTuber that I watch, she she always has the longest eyelashes. I mean, they are, I mean, and they're beautiful. They're just, I, I can't even describe it. And she, this is what she uses, okay? She uses, first, she puts on the accelerator. This, let me tell you what this is. It's the Rimmel. It's made by Rimmel. Rimmel, Rimmel. I call it Rimmel. Lash Accelerator Mascara with AVEC Grow Lash Complex, okay? Right there. With the grow lash complex in it and this is what it looks like i've been using this for i want to say a week probably about a week or maybe a week and a half and actually i think my lashes are getting you can't see right now but see they're sticking out a little bit i'm telling you what my lashes were just short and stubby and i, I just couldn't get them out there but anyway so i apply this first and now what she uses after the, well i'll show you I'll show you okay okay all right all right let's just get started I'm gonna stop this and put this on and then um, I will come back because like I said I've already got a long video because I don't know what I'm doing with this mess but you know what I'm saying so anyway let me get this put on and then I'll come back okay okay guys I have applied it and I'm, I'm gonna turn to the side maybe to see if you can see my lashes already look long just by applying the accelerator accelerator they already look long I wish you guys could see this maybe if I look up can you see it if I look up don't worry about the black on top I'll get that off in a minute but just using the accelerator alone it has made my lashes already look way out there probably if I wanted to I could just use this you know but I don't want to because I want them a little bit longer than what they are but I could just, in reality, I could just use this. If I look up, y'all can tell. Look to the side. Can y'all see that? Do y'all see that? Okay. 
Anywho, then she applies after that. Okay, then after she applies the lash accelerator, and again, I could pro I could get by with just wearing the lash accelerator, but y'all see that gray hair? I just got my hair colored not too long ago, and it's already the gray. <sighs> now, this eye always looks longer than this eye because this eye just, this eye always, my eyelashes always don't want to do what, what I want them to do. They just keep, if they just keep this crap up, I'm just going to rebuke the devil out of them, okay? Alright, then, after the lash accelerator, the Rimmel, she goes in with the Lancome Grandiose. And now, I already had the Lancome Grandiose because I had seen, actually, when I first started watching her, she always wore this. And I thought, man, her lashes. So, I had started buying this, and I really love this. And let, oh, let me show y'all, did I show y'all the... On the accelerator one, let me show you what the, here we go. Can y'all see that? That's what the brush looks like. This is new, so it's still got a lot of clump on the brush, but. Okay, then here's what the Grandiose brush looks like. I really like this brush, too, because do you see how crooked it is? Because you can just get in there and, you know, on the sides. Oh, there we go. Then she applies this, and suddenly her lashes just look like fake eyelashes. Now, mine's not going to look like that, okay? So, don't don't get all excited yet, okay? So, anyway, let's just apply this, and I'm going to try to leave the camera running for this simply because I want you guys to see it, and I'm tired of start-stop. Can y'all see that yet? I don't know if you can or not. Okay, then we're going to go to this side. This side, again, is the side that is always always just don't want to do what I want it to do I do not know why see how I can get in there with this little crooked brush it's oh, I love it the grandiose is a little expensive guys let me just say for the record it is a little expensive now can y'all see that okay let me get closer let me get closer can y'all see that can y'all tell when I'm looking up at you? Or let me look up. Maybe you can see it that way. I don't know. I hope y'all can see this. It just, it totally gives me the length that I'm looking for in my eyelashes. I like long eyelashes. I love it. I can wear less makeup because of the long eyelashes. And I know you guys are wondering what the crap I'm talking about because it that just didn't, yeah. The reason why I say that is... When I'm wearing real long eyelashes, I don't know about you guys, but I always, when I'm talking to somebody, I always look at their eye, their eyes first. I don't ever go down or down, you know. I always look at their eyes. And if they're majoring on my eyelashes, then they're not majoring on the less makeup that I have on my face. That's just what I think, okay? That's just my thoughts alone. All right, guys, I'm going to have to raise my mirror up. I'm sorry to do this. And I'm trying to hurry, so I'm not exactly getting this the best. But you'll get the gist of it. Yes, gist is a word, at least here in Arkansas. We have a lot of words here in Arkansas that may not even be in the dictionary. But you know what? We use them like crazy. Because <laughs> we can. That's why. Because we're from the country and we like it that way. Alright, there we go. Can you see? Can you see? I don't know if y'all was getting the gist of this. I really wish I could show you guys exactly. Of course, when she when she's looking in the camera, you can see those eyelashes on her. She They are like way stinking out there. I mean, way out there. But anyway. Now. Do y'all see? Can can y'all see my lashes? They're a lot longer than they used to be. Now, for you guys who don't know, I'm sure everybody, anybody that watches YouTube probably already knows this trick. You take a Q-tip. Yikes, Batman, about out. Okay. And then you let the mascara dry that you have on, on top on your eyelashes. You just let it dry. After it dries, all you have to do is this. 
just go over it with a Q-tip. You know, the one bad thing about using your camera is people call when you're trying to do a video. Okay, so anyway, there, there's that. Let me get up close so y'all can see. Hey, I saw him. Do y'all show him? <laughs> can y'all see? Now this side's kind of going down, looking like a fool, but really, they're there. Let me tell you, they're there. Anyway, that's it for long lashes. This really does work, the lash accelerator. Like I said, I've only been using this a week, the Rimmel Lash Accelerator. I've only been using this a week, and already I can tell the difference in the length in my lashes. And then, of course, the Lancome. Now, let me just tell you guys, if you don't want to spend the major money, I say major because, um, what was this, $32 a bottle? Something like that? Something like that. Anyway, if you don't want to spend money, that kind of money, on a mascara, but you want the same effect this gives, then let me just throw in a tip right now. The telescopic, because and I use this, a lot of times I'll use this instead of this, because this is so expensive, so for work, I'll use this one, and you get the same effect. It's the... Uh, L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black. And I will show you what the, there's what the brush looks like. It's not even a brush. It's like a comb. Um, can y'all see that? It's, kind of, it's like a comb. Anyway, this will give you the same effect that this will. Only a lot cheaper. You can get this at Walmart. This, you know, this is good stuff. I really love this. But, um. You know, like I said, if you want to go cheaper, then this telescopic works just fine. Put this on first, the Rimmel Lash Accelerator, and then put on this or this one, whichever works the same. Now then, let's get back, let's get back to the face. I think we're done with the eyes. So, since I went ahead and put the orange on, we are going to go ahead and use, I don't know what I want to use because I really don't want to wear any makeup. Maybe I'll just do some more of the BB. Nah, we'll do this one. We're gonna do the CoverGirl Clean Matte. This one is it. This one is a little light for me. This is 525 beige. Buff beige. Buff. Buff beige. We're gonna go ahead and use this. If I have to use any kind of foundation in the summertime, then I want something that's got Noxema in it. I love that clean, that clean feel and clean smell. Usually has a, a really clean smell. So we're going to use it and we're just going to put this over like so. And we're going to go right in here. Sorry guys, I got to look at this. I can't look at y'all. I'm sorry. I have to use my mirror. I always like to put it down here, you know, that little double chin right there, that double chin. You know, I was watching a thing that said, how to stretch your chin, or how to get your little double chin back up in like at night time, just if you're watching TV or in between commercials, do this. And I have been doing that, and it has been working. I mean, really. I'm not kidding, guys. You think I'm lying, but I'm not. I hate double chins. But part of life, I suppose, when you get a certain age, you're just... You're done for you know what I'm saying <laughs> I refuse to grow old gracefully okay I'm fighting it with every every inch of me okay there's that now for my lighter look like I said I'm not going to church I'm not going anywhere you know that neat really needs to be this has got white on it in case you're wondering what I'm doing um in case uh in case Lord mercy Jesus this is my makeup remover towel and I usually when I'm done, I like to do this to kind of get it out of there. Um, now, what I'm going to do is just apply very little. Oh, my nose itches. Somebody's coming with a hole in the bridges. Somebody's coming with a hole in the bridges. Sorry. 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 I get excited. I love music. I get excited. Okay, I'm going to use the Milani. This is the Coralina 08 Milani, and I'm hitting pan. <laughs> I love this blush. I love it, love it, love it, love it. As y'all can tell, that's about all I use. And then I'm going to use my Secura. No, I'm not. That's a lie, too. Lux 504. 
brush and I'm gonna dab and then I'm just gonna apply right in here and I'm gonna dab and I'm gonna apply right in here just for like I said just for a little light look and this is kind of I always do this just kind of blend it out a little bit because it has powder on it this has a little bit of my powder on it so just kind of blend it out a little bit now then this I use this brush for when I'm using my L'Oreal True Match Lumi and this is another highlighter but I'm not going to use this highlighter this brush is what I use this is my Sakura it's made by Sakura I don't know if y'all can see that or not it's about rubbed off okay I love this brush all right, I'm going to try this Milani, and, and even though I'm home, I still like a little bit of highlight up there, you know, because it just don't feel right if you don't have highlight on, okay? It just don't. And then I dab it, and then I'm just going to kind of do it this way a little bit. Right in there. Right in there. Just a little dab, dab, dab. Just a little dab will do ya. Just a little dab will do ya. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Just a little dab will do ya. Just a little dab will do you. Hey, that's a thumbnail. Okay. Okay, guys. My camera got full. Batteries, full cameras. I don't know. Yeah, no. You know, you know. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I normally apply to my lips when I go out and when I'm wearing the orange, okay? So, I use, let me go ahead and put this on and I'll show you. Okay, I use, this is the uh, Long Lasting Finish. It is by um, Rimmel. And you remember, I always talk about the Rimmel Lip Liner. Always. I always tell you guys how much I love the Rimmel Lip Liner. This one, Rimmel Lip Liner. The color is Tear. It's 050. Tear Miss You. Tear Miss You. Right there. Is that going to focus or no? Anyway. I love the Rimmel. And yes, I finally remembered to get some. I had one and I used it right down to the nub. I'm not kidding. It was like, <laughs> I still have it too. And I refuse to throw it away because I'm not done with it yet. So it was like down to the nub. And then I'm using, on top of that, after I put that on, I use the, um, I don't, oh, the brand is L'Oreal. You can see right there, L'Oreal. And the color is 101 Nectarine Plump. Lisa Lisa talked about this. And I had to go get it. When I seen her put it on, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm having me some nectarine plump. And there you go. Isn't that pretty? I love it. Put a little bit there in that corner. Anyway, there's that. And this is what it looks like. Isn't that pretty? Got that at Walmart also. I think I bought this online. This is the one, or is it this one? Oh, poop. Um, sorry, I dropped it. Um, actually, it was this one. This is the one that I was looking online, and they only had like two left or whatever, and I was like, oh, uh uh So when I ordered it, they could, you know, you could pick it up in the little pickup box thing. So I ordered it, and I went straight to Walmart and got it before, before it went out. But, guys, I love this color. Beautiful color, isn't it? Mm, yeah. Okay, and then, last but not least, let's do the finishing spray. Um, this is Hydrating Rose Water Facial Mist. I got this at Ross's, and uh, Ross, or Ross, Ross's, Ross is not Ross. It's not a man. It's a place to shop, okay? It's better than a man in a place to shop. Anyway, um, I used to see people use this all the time, and <sighs> they did it, so I thought I had to do it. And, and at the time, I was like, what the crap is that used for? Why is people spraying water in their face? I mean, that's just stupid. But 
I don't know. It does feel good. It says hydrating, and by George, it is hydrating because it feels so stinking good. Um, it's just kind of a cool, yeah. If they would explain it that way, they'd be like, oh, yeah, man, I need some of that. But no, they're just like, okay, we're just going to do the setting spray and blah, 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 blah. Setting what? You know, because I used to think with the water, you make it's going to run and spotty and, you know, well, yeah, you know. So anyway, this one, I bought at Ross's. I can't remember what, oh, yeah, I do. $3.99. I can't remember, but it's on the bottom, $3.99. So anyway, let's just hydrate my face, okay? Let's just do the set, let's do the finishing touch. Just spray it on. Ah, yes. You know what, guys? That does feel so stinking good. It is. It's hydrating. And it was, the, the first time I used it, the first day I used it, I was in the bathroom, and I'm like spraying, you know, doing the different, you know, doing the setting spray. And I thought, man, that does smell good, or feel good. It does smell good, too. It smells like rose. But I thought, man, that does feel good. And that day, I was so hot and burning up, and I was like, well, if it feels good on your face, what's it feel good in your shirt? So I just sprayed a little on my shirt, and I was like, oh, yeah. Then I thought, maybe I just need to carry this in my purse, and when I'm feeling that flush, you know, that heat and, and, and sweaty just go in the bathroom and spray my shirt. I <laughs> know. Y'all can laugh here. Okay. Okay. That's, but it did. It feel, and you know what it does? It feels refreshing in your shirt too. So why just stop at your face? Just go right on down, especially if you're a junkie chick. Just, just go ahead and spray. Just spray. Okay. Just spray. All right, guys, that's it. And I'm sorry this, I know this video is going to be long and um sorry but that's just the way it is if you guys let me fix my hair a little bit so i look a little halfway decent you know i'm ending this video okay okay that's better if you guys like my video please subscribe to my channel i would appreciate you guys subscribing clicking the bell so you'll be notified next time i put another one up and i do try diligently to get them up um like i said i explained y'all my work my work schedule so you know sometimes i just don't get them up but when i do boy do i not really it's nothing really outstanding but hey i'm just glad you're here um thank you so much for subscribing and i say this all the time to my faithful subscribers thank you you guys are truly my friends um I mean, because I, I love conversing with you down below. When you comment below, I just love it. I don't care if it's good. I don't care if it's bad. Now, if it's really bad, if it's just something really hateful and hostile, let me just tell you right now, mama don't take no crap, so I will just delete. I will just delete it. But so far, I've had, I've had really sweet people on there. You know, we all like sweetness. Let's just be nice to people, okay? Let's not be mean and hateful and, and just lash out. There's just no point to that. Let's lift each other up, okay? There's your, there's your tip for the day. Anyway, subscribe to my channel. Oh, and for those of you, I noticed I have a few, uh, a few new ones. And I want to say to all my new subscribers, thank you. I appreciate you very much. And I can't wait to get to know each and every one of you. And um, just hang around the channel. We'll just hang out together and have some fun. This old lady and you, okay? Alright guys, I will take you on my next video, which by the way, I'm fixing, I think I've got two more to come up. i got two tags. I've, uh, one tag for sure I have to do because I promised I'm going to do it. And then the other one, I picked it up because I think it's going to be fun. So, and it's going to be about, what, what is it going to be about? Come closer, closer, so good we don't tell everybody. It's going to be about purses. Yes, my favorite subject, purses, purses. Handbags, you know all that good stuff. Okay, guys, I love you guys.